Howdy folks, it's me, Manic Marky, Real Fake Outsider Artist, coming to you from the Bunker System, located underneath the Art Villa, found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And today I've got a potpourri of many wild and crazy and wondrous things to share with you. Um, so where do I start? Well, let's start with, I'm thinking, Man Tramp Stamp Entries. Man Tramp Stamp Entries. There are a few new ones um, from... I can't, I, I just had the page open. Somebody, somebody out there thinks Robot Squid Buddy, Robot Squid Buddy would be a good man tramp stamp. That's somebody's Josh, by the way, Facebook friend. Credit where credit's due. Josh, the wild man Josh. Don't think I haven't been keeping up with this, Josh. What the hell, cut all that out, start over. If I could just find it, I could do this. I could do it straight through. Man tramp, when did I do that? It's so long ago. There it is. Cut it all out. Hey, what are we going to start with today? That's right. Man tramp stamp. I should brush my teeth before I smile. I've been eating almonds. Excuse me. Josh, a Facebook friend, watched one of my videos the other day and got caught up in the man tram stamp thing. I think he's I think he's on the verge of getting one himself. However, I think he gave Manic Mark the best ideas he has to date and that would be um well he he likes squid robot squid bunny. He thought that may be a good And there there appears to be interest in robot squid bunny as though I should I should turn this into something like an evolve the idea into something more something more, a big screen adventure, Robot Squid Bunny versus something. I haven't figured out what it versus yet, but it has to it has to be opposed. There has to be a struggle, and I don't know what it's struggling against yet. I don't know what its adversary is. But I have to come up with something. Anyway, backing up. One of the, there's two things that Joss suggested, which I really love, and that is that any phrase for my Man Trap stamp needs to be uh, contained within a design, and his suggestion is bob wire and crossed six shooting pistols. Crossed pistols. Bob wire and crossed pistols. There you go. I love that idea. And um, his other his other idea, which I like better than just even though I came up with it myself, robot squid bunny, is. I think I need another beer. No, that's not his idea. I'm just, I just had one beer and now my mind. Listen to the midget. That's it. Listen to the midget. Yay, fanfare. <laughs> Play the fanfare. Play it again. I like that because it's abstract and obscure and, it, but it's, but, but, and I think that's a leading contender. Now, Lloyd, God bless his soul, Lloyd. This is a creepy, this is a creepy suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd suggests exit only. Oh man, I think the the person most affected will it will be any any in any, any instance in my life yet to come, whatever's left of it. If I have to go to the doctor and take my shirt off, especially for an exam, you know, around there, it's not gonna. It's just gonna be. It'll give them something to talk about at break. Oh my god, I can't wait to go to break because I gotta talk about what was on that guy's back. Mmm. What did he mean by that? I couldn't bring myself a twenty a twenty something year old nurse is not gonna be able to ask a sixty year old man what exit only means. I maybe, I don't know. You know, girls these days, they're just more they're braver than when we grew up. More brave, more more better, more brave. Cut it all out. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I thought I'd go to genital eating on a genital eating zombies. But I don't want to mix that up with my, my, my record finds for today. So I'm just going to have to hold on to that, that thought for another day. Because I think exit only really kind of, you know, I can't be followed up by anything. Except maybe for record finds. <laughs> okay. What did I find today? I found another copy of Enoch Light's Disco Tech. Yes, my third or fourth copy. I've got three of these. Why? Because they're just out there and I pick them up and I'm going to use them to trade for other material. Uh, better records. I hope that's how it's that's how it's working out right now. Anyway, um, this is a this is a fun record, and I've got the fourth one. It's like a Pickwick re-release. It's in a really horrible cover, and I don't know what they were thinking when they were re-released this record, as, even as a budget record. At the time, it's like during the disco 
like during disco. This is it because I think people that would have bought it would have thought it has nothing to do really with disco. It's light 60s pop. Organs and Bongos by Eddie Osborne. Found two copies of this in one week. There's a couple of good songs on it. They're all available. I don't know why. The guy makes one record. And, and, and all, this, all the songs are available on iTunes. I don't understand how this is all working out, like how some records are, you know, somebody still owns the rights and are publishing them, and, and other records that are far better are just lost to history. I have no idea. Uh, Super Cushion, Dinah Groove, Dick Shorey's Percussion Pops Orchestra. This is another attempt by RCL, RCL, RCA to market Dinah Groove. That's right, Dinah Groove, their new technology, a new groove technology, which wasn't highly, it wasn't very well, uh, audio files, audio fiends, audio fiends did not receive this well, and they, they tried in 1963, they created a series of records to try to market it, which were not very good, they weren't hip, this one may be hip, this one has a, a, a Hindustan on it, which is a, a tune that I love. But and, and they and they they changed the levels and they they made like so you were kind of like listening to the music you had, you were forced to listen to like what the dynamic range of the record was which ruined the music frankly anyway on to the next one on to the next one and the next one now here's a local group from for sales Kentucky it's obviously a gospel group because of the long dresses. And the long hair, okay? Now let you turn it over, and there's the mama, the mama bird with the baby birds, and look at the look at the short dresses they're wearing on the back. Now I'm thinking that, uh, you know, that's not probably a good thing because boys are going to be wanting to hear, you know, they're going to never mind. They're going to want something else and not gospel singing by those girls. I'm just saying. Oh, that's why they wear the long dresses. So you have to have you have to like work harder to have a fantasy. <laughs> anyway, gospel vampires. Do, could there be such a thing? I think so. that's another movie idea. Gospel vampire vampires, because it's always like ooh the cross and I can't stand it. Well, though maybe maybe it would be a really creepy movie if it like well you know I thought you were a gospel touring gospel group and. You guys couldn't possibly be vampires because you're a gospel group, but then they turn out to be them. Maybe there's no there's no crosses because hey, you guys, there's no crosses around. What's the deal with that? <sighs> Exotic guitars, um, just low budget. It was low budget day today at the Goodwill. New dimensions of the Les Reed sound, and this is interesting because I have no idea who Les Reed is, but there's a photograph on the back of him. Uh, playing the piano and there's some electronic instruments in the background so I don't know if this is going to be good or not, I have no idea I don't like to spend too much time on any of them because they could suck 50 guitars of Tommy Garrett eaten by a mouse, the corner's been eaten by a mouse and there's Tommy on the back with his 50's guitars, I didn't count them up if they're not 50 in that picture, I don't know why, it's like I, it doesn't matter, okay, and the last record is Mike Makes Hay. It's Mike Hay. Mike Makes Hay with his magic Sun G Shine. Sun dash G dash Shine. Sun G Shine. There's Mike on the back. This is a this is a cripple. This is a, I wasn't going to say that because I'm going to explain myself. It's going to take up time. But it's a cripple cover. He was in some kind of accident, and and and, and it was paralyzed to some degree. And he doesn't really mark, it's, it's on here, so when you're reading it, you know, that affects you. And basically, record collectors label this, these crippled. Like, I think, I'm pretty sure, crippled cover, well, the cover, usually, you have the crippled person or the deformed person on the cover, using their deformity, their freakism, to sell records, okay? Um, and we're just, we're just going to find out, I have no idea, but we're going to find out what the hell... Sunji Sunji Shine really what it is, what it is. Let's just take a listen.
That 